Brexit means Brexit, and we're going to make a success of it. If we vote to leave, because we will have control of the economic levers. As a result, we'll be able to deal with whatever the world throws at us, an affirmation of faith and hope in Britain. I have a chance, actually, to do something. Now, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance. And if we vote leave on June the 23rd, we can take back control of £350 million a week. I genuinely want to do some things for our country to make it the greatest country on earth. The cake exists to be eaten and cherries <laughs> exist to be picked. Yeah! A country of decency, fairness and quiet resolve. And a successful country, small in size but large in stature. I say, come with me and we'll write that brighter future. Come with me and we'll make that change. Come with me as we rise to meet this moment. Come with me and together, let's seize the day. As you said, the Brexit Secretary David Davis handed in his notice. In the UK, the British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson has quit. We are, and I haven't quite understood the full extent of this, but if you look at the UK and you look at how we trade in goods, we're particularly reliant on the Dover-Calais crossing. The Brexit Secretary Dominic Raab has resigned. This is Esther McVeigh goes, and maybe no surprise. We are barreling towards an incoherent Brexit. But I believe with every fibre of my being that the course I have set out is the right one for our country and all our people. This is a Brexit that delivers on the priorities of the British people. Uh -huh.